Hello friends, good morning, welcome to Leg Life, and welcome to unbelievably beautiful, I feel like that's how I'm starting every vlog, <laughs> like welcome to beautiful, because every place we're visiting is beautiful. Yeah. Skagway, Alaska, the place that we spent 4th of July yeah. last year, a town that we have been absolutely wanting to return to ever since we left, and today we are here. We pulled in this morning, we have a really fun adventure planned in Skagway, we're gonna bring you guys along for all of it, but let me show you the town right now. So I can already tell it is very different than when we were here last year. You can see there's two cruise ships that we can see over there next to us. The Yukon White Pass Railroad lined up out here in front of us. You guys will remember we did that last year. And then that beautiful Skagway view that we're so excited to see again. Um, downtown area is right over there. That's where we're going to walk as soon as we get off the ship. So Sherry Beth, you ready to go experience Skagway? Again. Yes. Again? Let's do it. <laughs> One thing I haven't pointed out that I think is so cool is that as you walk the hallways, like where the rooms are, all of the artwork are just like different Alaska photos. And I'm wondering, Sherry, if they change the artwork out based on where the ship is. I would assume so. Sailing? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Off the ship heading to town and there's a great view of the Royal Princess we just got off. There's actually another ship parked behind us as well. There's the Celebrity Millennium and here is a Holland America ship. So I believe four ships in town today. So we just got here into town after walking from the ship. Uh, it was probably, I don't know, a little over a quarter mile. Uh, you can see we're out here in front of the White Pass Yukon Depot. Coming up here to Broadway, which is kind of the main street through downtown. Here's the Klondike Gold Rush Museum on the left. See, so we got the Red Onion Saloon right here. And then looking right down Broadway, it is so cool to be back in Skagway, Alaska. So here we are at Klondike Electric Bike. And you guys, this is the car. We're gonna be driving through the Yukon today. Cannot wait. Let's go check in. All right, so we just got the car. Uh, she was showing us how to work it, and I've never driven an electric car before. Uh, first of all, that's bigger than my iPad at home. That's crazy. Uh, this is gonna sound dumb, but it's quiet. Like, you push the button to start it, and it doesn't sound like it's even on. <sighs> this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, we just left Tondike. Now we are heading to a place that basically was our second home when we were here last year, Glacial Coffee House. I don't even know how many times we went here last year, but it was a lot. Some of you guys may remember that, that um, Auburn and Sherry basically fell in love with a drink they had here that was a blackberry white mocha. So Sherry's hoping they have that again this year. So fun to see this coffee shop so absolutely packed with people. All right, so we've got our coffees, we've got our car. We are going to head out. Now, the goal for today isn't necessarily the destination. It really is more about the journey. Uh, this is gonna be a first for Sherry and I. We've never gone through this area. First, obviously, for the Zachmans as well. Um, we are gonna go to the border crossing, go into Canada, and basically just drive through the Yukon, stop whenever we see things we wanna stop and take photos of, and bring you guys along for the whole thing. So, let's uh, head out, leave Skagway, Alaska, and um, go into the Yukon. All right, so we drove through like the US Customs area just a few minutes ago, and we're driving along, and there's just a fake looking waterfall. Right there, it looks like a Disney waterfall. Mm -hmm. Like it looks so perfect. Yeah. So you can see we are crossing the US Canadian border right now. And I think we're officially into Canada. <laughs> see, it's really pretty up here. Uh, elevation is like 3,200. What is it, Sherry? 3,292. There you go. Fun fact. Still a bunch of snow here, but then there's an open lake right over there. Can you even imagine how cold that water must be. There's definitely a part of me that wants to go down there and put my feet in that water because it's gotta be absolutely freezing. Look at how clear the water is. I mean, you can see every rock. Amazing. What do you think? It's amazing. So cool. All right, you guys, I have to do it. I've gotta know what the temperature of the water is. And so we are going to step out here and put my foot in the water. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cold. It is not warm. 
in any way. It is not warm in any way. That was a terrible decision. Justin's taking photos of this family up here. You can see the creek goes down this way. And look how fun this is. Like the water's kind of cut a hole through that snowpack down there. Nicole actually provided us with this driving guide for the South Klondike Highway. It is full of facts about Skagway, about places along this route into Canada. Um, lots of little fun facts about things that we'll be seeing, places to pull over and get pic good pictures, all that kind of stuff. It's actually super helpful. Um, just kind of knowing like, hey, is there something coming up that we're probably gonna wanna stop and get pictures of. You guys, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. There's a bear walking on the train tracks down there. Well, our bear is back. You guys can see him, I hope, just starting to cross back over that bridge. He's right there walking on the railroad tracks. <sighs> this is so crazy. Seeing a bear in the wild is one of the most amazing experiences. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. We are here in the Yukon. Sherry Beth for the very first time. Yeah. Of course, Sherry's getting photos. I think uh, we're gonna go take some photos by the sign. Um, but we're actually passing, you guys can kind of see it a little bit down there. Uh, Tushi Lake, I think is how you pronounce it. We've been joking this pronounced Tushi Lake. Pretty sure that's not it. So here we are in the town of Carcross in the Yukon here in Canada. And our first stop is going to be like the little visitor information center because we read in the, um, the little book that they gave us with the car that we can actually get our passports stamped here uh, with the Yukon. That's something we all want to do. And look how cute this little area is. They have a totem pole there, all the buildings painted up with the native designs and artwork. Ooh, caribou, coffee, yes please. And there's the visitor information sign, but I'm gonna be honest, after a little bit of a drive, we need the bathroom first. So Car Cross looks really cute. Again, there's the little kind of welcome area with different shops and stuff. They have this, looks like an old, almost like you can see the paddle wheel back there. Looks like you can walk all around. And then there is a river over here. Some old buildings right there. Look how cute that old church is. Look, there's the Zachmans. Go subscribe below. <laughs> Sherry Beth, yes. having fun? Yeah. There it is, the SS Tushy. <laughs> oh, sorry, Tucci. Nicole from Klondike Gifts in Skagway told us that when we get to Car Cross, this is the place to have lunch, so. Going to the bistro, don't know what they have, don't know what to expect, but recommended by a friend, so let's check it out. Sherry Beth, this place looks great. Yeah. They have like fish and chips, they have burgers, they have sandwiches. Justin and I got sourdough grilled cheese. What'd you get? Uh, the Swiss Neutrality, which is like a, a burger with Swiss cheese and mushrooms. Yum. All right, so we just left lunch and I didn't show any of it because again, Worst vlogger ever. Um, the food was pretty good. The fries were spectacular. And Lacey got the cod and chips and she said they were amazing. So if you're going to the bistro and car cross, apparently the fish and chips is where it's at. Now we're walking around this little area a little bit. Look how cool this is. Just like a whole playground area. It's very fun. Sherry, of course, over here getting photos. Imagine that. Sherry was talking about there's a totem that is like facing down. I didn't know what she meant. Well, that is what she meant. All right, so I think we hit a home run. We found a place here that does maple syrup, maple butters. And they have a whiskey barrel age maple syrup that we tried. And I could not leave Car Cross without getting because this is spectacular. Like this in coffee, this over ice cream. Oh my gosh. And made right here in the Yukon. Gotta love that. Well, we were going to get our passport stamped, but apparently that is something that they stopped doing because of the pandemic. So, no stamps in our passports on this trip to Canada, unfortunately. 
But now we are heading to a place called the Caribou Crossing Trading Post. And that's actually why we drove up here today. Uh, apparently they have like gold panning. I guess they have like husky puppies. And just like, oh gosh, there was a fly. Like all sorts of other things to see and do. So Caribou Crossing Trading Post, next stop. All right, so we just arrived at the Caribou Crossing Trading Post. This was our destination. Um, and if you think for one second that I am not gonna make Justin Zachman put his head right in there, you have lost your mind because this is why we drove an hour. Yep, that is maybe the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, so our admission today gets us into both of the museums, the Wildlife Gallery and the Mountie Museum. And then we get to go play with like husky puppies and then we go gold panning, so in the museums. So we are starting in the Mountie Museum. Mountie, of course, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police with their iconic cool red outfits. All right, if my mom is watching this vlog, mom, in the comments below, I need you to tell me if this is exactly the same blanket that we had growing up. <laughs> because I am positive we had this in our house. And yeah, I didn't know this. The Mounties basically started, they arrived in the Yukon in 1894. Mountie flat brim hat, the red jacket, the puffy Your pants? I know, what would you call those? <laughs> Can you imagine the amount of candy you could sneak into a movie theater wearing those bad boys? So now we are entering the Wildlife Museum. Um, again, I have no idea what to expect here. I'm mostly here for puppies. Um, the trumpeter swan, that's one of Sherry's favorite animals. This room is incredibly impressive. Um, yeah, I did not know they had all of this from looking at the website. You can see we have deer, we've got like this thing is just, you guys, it is absolutely gigantic, this bison. Goodness gracious, got the polar bear over here. One of my life goals is to see a polar bear in the wild. It is like bucket list thing for me. And it actually says here on the sign, this is the largest bear ever mounted, taken in Cambridge Bay, Northwest Territory while hunting. Oh my gosh, the skin measured 11 feet, eight inches from nose to tail. Bear weighed in excess of 1,700 pounds largest bear ever mounted and see we've got some muskox over here we see those at the wildlife conservation center just outside of anchorage little antelope dang look at the way they mounted the wolf and the caribou how in the world did i not know that they have a woolly mammoth says the most widely recognized of the Ice Age giants, the woolly mammoth roamed Yukon until approximately 10,000 years ago, weighing in at 7,000 kilograms and sporting two and a half meter tusks. This mature bull, I'm sure you would agree, would fear no predator. This is absolutely amazing. What'd you say, Sherry? Their teeth. Their teeth? Hot grind. Oh, yep. This is crazy. What do you think about this place? This is really cool. This. <laughs> they're hugging. They're hugging. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, it's not a snug fest. It's not a snug fest. They're literally killing. Not hugging. Hugging. Killing. Look at those you think that that looks like the face of an animal that is being hugged? You think that's a hug? <laughs> I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> All right, so we have a gigantic moose here. And on the sign, something I did not know. Um, moose are strong swimmers, which I did know. But what I didn't know is that they will dive to depths of 20 feet. What? So we just walked outside of the room where all of the large animal mounts are. And here's kind of a look at the, the area. Sherry's taking photos. Um, animal treats, $2 a bag. And look at this guy. This is Spirit. Hey Spirit, do you want me to spend $2 so I can get a bag of treats so I can feed you? Would that be cool? 
I think it would too. Also, ignore this sign. You want some treats? Is Adam feeding Spirit the horse. All the animals are like. <laughs> That's a donkey going a little crazy over here. <laughs> Oh my god, so sad. Okay, let's go yeah. give that one. Okay, we're gonna go give the donkey some food as well. This is a beautiful setting out here. This is the best I've ever Got the miners going up the Yukon. The Zachman's also in on the whole animal feeding fun. Sherry, any desire to feed them? No. They actually do like husky tours, like dog sled tours. Obviously in the winter there's no snow, or I'm sorry, in the summer there's no snow, so they don't have sleds, but they do have those like wheeled vehicles. They hook them up and the dogs pull them and run. Sherry, mm -hmm. this is what I'm here for. I know you are. Husky puppies. All right, so we are out here in the puppy lot and we're greeted by this sweet dog. How are you? You just want to hang out with me all day? I'll just pay you forever. <laughs> and then look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. How are you? And apparently it's nap time all over the dog lot because these guys are snoozing as well. Look at these two over here. Just like one of them's trying to sleep, the other one's like, nah. We're gonna play right now. Like, I don't wanna play, I wanna sleep. I'm gonna bite your face. I love puppies. Funny because the dogs back there in the lot just kind of started to howl and bark a whole bunch, which means somebody pulled out a harness and they know they are about to run and that is all they wanna do. Now we're over here checking out the alpacas, uh, Thelma and Louise. Oh, you got a little bit of an itch? Scratch your belly? Did you get it? Oh, hey, what's going on? Is that good? No, it was not good. <laughs> it was a little bit good. Hey, Adam, try feeding Luis. Come on. Do you want to take food from me? No. He's, he's not interested at all. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just nope. Little goats. Those little goats. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's like, oh, you look like a wise old wizard. Tell Whoa. Where'd you come from? What? Yeah. You want some? I don't really have any more. It's coming all the way down. You were up there? All right, let me see if I can get some. I kind of only have some crumbs, but you came all this way. Oh, yep, there. Oh, you got some. Good job. All right, next is gold panning here at Klondike Mike's. So, our goal is to leave here with gold nuggets no smaller than these. Hey, Sherry, can we retire yet? Not quite yet. Almost. So you guys can see some right down there in the corner. And there it is, right down there in the corner of the pan. Did you have fun? Yes. It's always fun. It is always fun. We've done this a number of times, obviously the first time here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like is it kitschy and touristy? Oh, thanks for getting my mosquito. <laughs> is it kitschy and touristy? Absolutely. Absolutely. Always fun though. It does fun. <laughs> and basically we're rich. Oh, sure. So we finished gold panning. We saw husky puppies. We petted and fed all the animals. And now we're back in the gift shop trying to figure out which ornament we want to bring back home with us to commemorate our first trip to the Yukon. All right, so we just left the Caribou Crossing Trading Post and Right next to it is something that's honestly kind of crazy. It is the Car Cross Desert. Um, apparently the smallest desert in the world. And I'm not gonna lie, driving through Yukon in Canada, did not expect to see like giant sand dunes. 
That's so weird. Started the drive back to Skagway, and there's this pull-off area here that just... You guys, this looks fake. Like, look at that. The way the sun is hitting that island out there. All the rocks, all the green. The blue of the water, the reflection of the mountains. While we're stopped here, can we just take a second and appreciate this car? Holy cow. This has been so unbelievably fun to drive. 100% recommend renting this if you come to Skagway. Doing the drive to, well, it doesn't matter where you do the drive to, car cross, anywhere, because it's just so beautiful. So how you doing? I feel good because all the bare footage is on this thing. Spectacular. So it's like you can't just let this, let this go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Lacey's first word upon hearing what just happened is going to be? Probably more like, I told you you shouldn't put the drone up. Yeah, like that's that. kind of what I'm thinking as well. they weren't really in the mood for it. No, they actually didn't even get out of the car. No. So, so the fact that I lost it, it's going to be an eye roll for sure. We're probably going to hear about this for the rest of the trip. Probably. <laughs> So we stopped here on the drive. We are almost back to U.S. Customs where we'll cross over, show our passports. You can see we've got the iconic Welcome to Alaska sign over here. We're gonna get a bunch of photos, but take a look at that view. Pretty spectacular. So we came from that way, just everywhere you look is crazy. All right, we have arrived at the U.S. port of entry, Skagway, Alaska. We're gonna have to show our passports to get back into the United States. And then it's just a short, oh, I don't know, seven, six and a half mile drive. And we'll be back to Skagway to return the car and uh, explore the town a little bit before we have to head back to the ship tonight. All right, we made it back to Skagway, emptying out all of the stuff from the back of the vehicle. I gotta say, this thing was as fun as I had hoped it would be. Holy cow. Also, I wanna say, um, I'm pretty sure I hit every single bug between here and Car Cross because, wow. Uh, when we come back to Skagway, I wanna do this again. This was an absolute blast. Again, huge thank you to our friends here at Klondike Electric Bicycles for making this happen. Did the electric bikes last year. Got to do the electric car this year. My gosh, maybe we just need to make this an annual tradition because what a blast. Also, look at this. Another beautiful day in Skagway. So let's keep doing some exploring. So we just dropped off the car and now we are looking around the store here in the Klondike gift supply. And they have, they just have the coolest range of stuff. All right, so we're here at a place in Skyway called Cozy Cone. It is the ice cream shop, but you know what is even better than all of this ice cream? You guys. Brit Rance is outside and the kids. We did not know until I think yesterday or the day before that we were actually going to get to see them. They are moving to Juno, and we happen to be in Skagway the exact same day. So flippin' happy. Renly is having her best day ever. Best day <laughs> I was just noticing across the street from the ice cream shop is the popcorn Emporium? Uh, they have free samples of popcorn? Look at all of this. Oh my gosh. All right, we just left Rance and Britt and the kids. We are walking back to our ship now. It's about six o'clock-ish. Uh, ship leaves in about two hours, we think. Probably should know that, but we think it's about two hours. Um, it was so cool to get to see them. Uh, we haven't seen them in way too long. So glad to have them back in Alaska so we get to see them more often. And that was kind of a, kind of a nice surprise to run into friends in Skagway, Alaska. But now, back to the Royal Princess. All right, so we're walking back to the ship and Lacey just spotted something on the ground that... We all just like, oh, oh no. Oh, you guys. Should we them. bury it? I like, I don't a moment of silence, a, a prayer or something for the AirPod. No. Oh, I feel so bad for whoever that is. On a more positive note, our ship has not pulled away in 
Yeah, which is good because we are kind of like, maybe we should have checked a little bit more. Right, it was one of those like, what time are we leaving again? And he's like, oh, hey, we're like, okay, cool. Yeah, one person <laughs> told us eight, hey, and so we all just like took that as truth. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not horribly worried about it. We could get home from here, but I'd love it if we got home on the cruise ship that we were booked on. So uh, I think we're okay. Great view of the Royal Princess. Now that we are back to the ship here in Skagway. And it's cool because our stateroom is actually right up there. So uh, well, let's get back on the ship. So that's not a good sign as you're walking back to your ship as they're raising the gangplank. What the heck is going on? All right, well, they had to move the gangway, but now getting back on the ship. Well, the next two days are scenic cruising sea days. So the next time we get off the Royal Princess, we'll be in Whittier, Alaska. We are back on board, back up to our stateroom, walking out on the balcony. You can see the Yukon White Pass Railroad is back dropping off passengers. Um, I will say, I again, when we were here last year, no cruise ships were there. The town was very, very different. So I actually didn't know that the train came all the way down here and picked up right by the ships. That's super convenient because when we took the train last year, it picked us up right by the depot in town. So I thought that that's where it just like always started and stopped. But apparently for cruise ships, it can go right over here, which is awesome. You can see the Holland America Line ship still in port. Uh, there was a celebrity ship that has since left. There is also a Norwegian ship that is like right behind us back there. And I think that we are the only three ships uh, currently in port. We have probably about an hour, hour and a half until we leave. It's cool, we're hanging out here on the balcony and a boat just pulled in. This little tiny one right there. That is the Alaska Fjord Lines. That is how we got to Skagway last year that's fun to see that boat what a great trip that was all right so it is dinner time we're here at the buffet and they have different themes each night um we've been trying to track down ramen night since we got on board and they actually have legit ramen oh my gosh i'm so excited let me show you some of the rest of the dinner stuff they have here in the buffet. Um, they have beer and cheese soup, dirty Mexican rite, uh, mixed steamed vegetables, a pumpkin pinot bet, not sure what that is, griddle fish fillets, rustic white beans and potato soup, uh, stew, veal, roasted crushed potatoes with blue cheese, gnocchi, kung pao chicken, that looks super good, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, leg of lamb with au jus, chicken nuggets, hello, hello. Um, a churrasco, pork loin, yum. Fish fingers. Over here we have like a build your own nacho bar with nacho cheese sauce, ground beef, chips. We have steak and cheese enchiladas, french fries, salsa and corn cakes, vegetable with gyoza and peanut sauce. Dang, grilled pork chops, roasted zucchinis and peppers, um, salmon, cauliflower fried rice, lo mein noodles, and there's that beer and cheese soup again. And then over here we have blue cheese, um, crumble potato salad, spicy pear and pineapple salad, roasted vegetables with lemoncello, of course, we have all sorts of different breads, and it keeps going in here. Shrimp cocktail, uh, shrimp louie, shrimp cocktail with aioli. We have kalamata olives, mustards, meats and cheeses, sweet and sour, burrito wraps. Look at all of the different, like, oh my gosh, just little pickles and just different snacks. Right, for the Liars Club game show. That's right, folks, it's a magnificent game show. Firstly, I want to welcome all our fabulous guests who are watching from their state rooms, but this show wouldn't be possible if we didn't have a live studio audience. Audience, how are we? Woo! Oh, Woo! All right, I gotta say, uh, a huge kudos to cruise director Natalie for the way that she gets into all the games. It's so funny. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Because Zambrook is a female coming of age. I'll thank you to find her spirit animal. All right, we just got back to our stateroom after a shoot. What was that game show called? The Liars Club. The Liars Club. Mm -hmm. It was kind of fun. It was funny. It was funny. So we have left Skagway and we are heading out. Um, this is crazy. We were here a year ago cruising this exact area. Uh -huh. In a much smaller boat. <laughs> In a much, much, much <laughs> smaller boat. We are planning on spending a little bit of time on deck tonight mm -hmm. because it was through this area, kind of up there a little ways, that we uh, saw humpback whales last year. Yep. And so we thought, you know what, this might be a fun night to spend a little bit of time out on deck, maybe order some drinks. You can see we've got chairs, table and stuff set up. Zachman's may come over and hang out. And um, we are just gonna enjoy the piece of this. I hope the camera's picking it up. But one of the coolest things about going through this area just outside of Skagway is that it's completely quiet. From where our room is, you can't even hear the boat. It's crazy. All that you can hear is the thunder of all of the falls. Look at that one. Goes all the way down here to the water and then all the way up top there. So cool. So over there in the distance, you can see the town of Haines, Alaska. Those buildings over there on the shore. And then right over there, you'll kind of see part of the mountain that looks like it slid away. And that's exactly what happened um, when we were here last year. They were telling us about a rock slide, a mudslide that basically slid down and destroyed, um, just destroyed a whole bunch of houses in, right there in that area. Uh, the town of Haines was beautiful when we were there. We just pulled in, dropped some people off, and then the ferry continued on to Skagway. But it was so pretty when we pulled in that we were like, you know what, this is a town we want to go back to. So Haines, Alaska, we'll be there someday to visit you. Justin just left and went back to his room. Uh, I think that Lacey is already asleep. Sherry is in bed getting ready to go to sleep. So let's go get Sherry's highlight of today before we wrap up this vlog. All right, Sherry Beth, I feel like it's becoming a tradition to end the vlogs getting your daily wrap up while you lay in bed. Um, how was today? Day in Skagway. It was a lot of fun. I really yeah. like Skagway. The drive was really beautiful. A lot of fun. Yeah. Highlight? Oh, no. Um, probably seeing the Brooks fam. Yeah, seeing Rance and Brett. Yep. I agree. A lot of fun to see them again and hang out with them for a little bit. Um, Skagway, when it is full of people, as opposed to Skagway last year that was empty. Very different. Yeah, but was it, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. Um, cause last year we loved it so much. It was so magical and perfect and wonderful. Mm -hmm. When it's full of people, does it ruin the magic? Uh, maybe a little. Um, I think, and like when we were here last year, so many of the stores weren't open. And it really is just very touristy. Um, it's still like cute. It's an adorable like town. But I think um, having jewelry store after jewelry store after jewelry store and like the salespeople standing at the door like, hey, come on in. It just felt very like, eh. Whereas last year, there was none of that. There was none of Because it. last year, it was all the local stores that were open. Mm -hmm. And so it was just like the friendliest, most wonderful people. But this year, it was like some of the like tourism industry stores. Right. So that was actually one of my takeaways was like, you know what? I know the stores I want to support when we come back to Skagway. Yeah. <laughs> like all of those amazing local stores. Yep. So a good day. Very good day. Tomorrow is Glacier Bay. Yes. We've been looking forward to tomorrow since we booked the cruise. Yes. Um, we have but to be it up. Really early. I was gonna say we have to be up kind of early, so calling it a little bit of an early night. I mean, it's ten thirty, so it's not like super early. I mean, it's kind of early for me. <laughs> so I love you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> so there is Sherry's high for today, um, and I actually have to agree with her. My high was definitely seen the Brooks fam, seeing Rance and Britt. Uh, they're just such good friends of ours. And honestly, I'm just like, I'm so happy they're moving back to Alaska. So 
um, that was my high. My high outside of that was definitely the drive. Um, again, having visited Skagway last year, we've seen the town, we know the town, but getting out, that is one of the most beautiful drives I've ever done. Like when you're going up through those mountain passes and you're seeing all of those lakes up there in the summits and there were just a couple places that we stopped and it's like, the mountains reflecting in the perfectly clear, uh, perfectly clean water was just, it was stunning. So I, I'm telling you, if you visit Skagway, um, you know, we did the railroad last year. That was a ton of fun. I know that's what most people do, but for us, renting that car and getting to go for a drive was one of the best things I can possibly imagine doing. So again, I'm going to link down below to Klondike um, electric bikes, Klondike uh, electric car rental for you guys to check them out if you're interested. Again, a huge thank you to them there. They gave us the car today for free to take and, and drive a sports car through the Yukon. Who gets to say they did that? So thank you guys again so much to, uh, to Nicole and George for giving us that opportunity. So friends, Sherry's going to bed. I'm going to sit out here for a while with my binoculars and my camera and just look at the mountains, look at the glaciers up in the mountains, look for whales, and enjoy the state that I still am blown away that I get to call home. So friends, we love you guys and we will see you on the next Slug Life video when we go to Glacier Bay.